Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel, Fiery Falcon Tarot. This is my third time doing the video for y'all. I tried to do it yesterday twice. It wasn't happening. So, I don't know, we are about to enter Mercury retrograde, so y'all could be having some technical issues with your, uh, you know, with technology, all right? Take it how it resonates. Um, they be sure to save and back up, like, your documents or whatever like that, like, um... I don't know. I'm seeing like the hard drive is like full or something like that, or something's going on with it, so something's not gonna save. So just double check your work before you know, before exiting out. Be sure that you're saving it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, Taurus, welcome. If you return to my channel, welcome. My name is Leash, and this is your December monthly reading. Um, yeah, we're at the end of the year, guys. I hope everybody's well. I hope your holidays were wonderful. Um, and I hope the up and coming holiday will be just as blissful, hopefully, as your Thanksgiving was. Uh, I do have a new new deck today that I'm going to read with y'all guys. I got the ink, ink tattoo deck, I think. Uh, ink intuition tattoo tarot deck. All right. And then I have the gentle chaos oracle deck. All right. So let's see what we got for you guys. All right. I'm in public. So just a heads up. You guys hear any noise in advance just please excuse it uh definitely like share subscribe you see my thumb there that's what that means hit the, hit the thumbs up all right thank you guys so much for supporting the channel we just had a full moon in gemini so it could be some edgy communication for some of you guys okay this could also be prompting you guys to want to communicate um if you're a person that doesn't really communicate well this is a great time to communicate okay because we just had the full moon in gemini which is also known as the beaver moon. Could be your spirit animal. Don't say have to be. Some of you guys could be born the year of the beaver. Take it how it resonates. All right. Or maybe you'll see a beaver. Not sure. But these these cards are a little stiff. Like I said, I just got them. So I do have the book. So I usually don't read from the book. But I'm going to read because I don't know nothing about these cards. So anyway, let's see. What do we got for Taurus for December? Sun, moon, rising, and our Venus. I didn't, I got my other Oracle deck in the trunk, but I didn't grab it out, but y'all the first Zodiac getting a reading with these new cards, so, you know, let's see, how y'all doing though, Taurus, how y'all doing, how y'all doing, if you don't know, I have Taurus placements in my chart, I'm not, my sun sign is not a Taurus, but I do have Taurus placements, we could be very stubborn people, right, so I don't know, are you guys holding grudges against people here, or just, you know, being resentful for no reason. All right, some of y'all could be on a twin flame journey. I'm seeing 11. All right. Don't say have to be. Or maybe you're about to encounter your twin flame. I'm not really sure. Some of you guys may have already encountered this person. All right. Let's see. What do we got for Tauruses, though? For the 12th month of 2023. The year is over, guys. It's a wrap. All right, there we go. Boom, we got two. Uh, oh, we got the deer at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So you guys could be seeing deer. All right. Be careful. In the area that I live in, it's been hella foggy uh, weather conditions. And so it's been really, really difficult to see any damn thing. So just be careful. You guys may run across a deer running out um, in front of you. I'm also getting the energy of something's going to catch you off guard. Um Again, it's kind of like if you're driving on a back road and then all of a sudden, you know, you have to hit the brakes, okay? Because this could be a deer in the road or a doe, all right? So please don't be out there taking out Bambi, y'all. Uh, y'all got the lost sock, okay? It's giving me lost and found energies, but we're going to read the meaning because, like I said, this is a brand new deck. Uh, we got the imagined place, okay? Um... It's giving me a manifestation that's going to be coming in for you guys. So I feel like something that you may... Uh, this is just my and intuition right here. I'm just channeling. Um, it's giving lost and found vibes, right? It's giving something being returned um, that you may have thought was lost. Or something's coming back to you that maybe you guys thought that you didn't have an opportunity at a season. I don't know. I'm kind of getting like a seize the moment type of thing. So this also could be an opportunity that you felt like you missed. Um, that's going to be coming back around for you guys. Let's see how well I'm channeling, because let's go to the book and let's read the meanings of these cards, all right? Uh, you got the lost sock, and you got the imagined place, all right? So, let's see here. 
Give me a second, bear with me while I find out. So the deer's on 20. So you could be a life path number 20 or two. The imagined place is 31. So this talks about your home stability, right? Um, and the lost sock is 36, all right? So, which is nine, right? Something's getting ready to change for you guys, all right? So I don't know what changes you're making, but let's see. Let's start with the deer. Let's see. It says the deer. Oh, please let wild deer feed. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It says, oh, please let wild deer feed from my grave. May the flowers, may the flowers your palace in memory of my name. May the feelings of joy, of sadness, disgrace, pity, and shame be reclaimed a consume, and consumed by the grant force gain. Okay. So the deer is a remind remind it's a reminder of us that life goes on and that there is newness to be found and lost. Okay. Damn, I struggled to read that. It's kind of dark and I should probably turn the light on. Alright, so that's the deer energy. So like I said, a, a energy of a, a surprise or a shock. Alright, so someone could have passed away. Okay, that could bring you some grief, right? Or a situation you could have been removed from, or a situation could have been removed from you, which would cause, you know, sadness, right? Because you're losing something, but uh, just tell yourself that all is as it's supposed to be, um, and what's meant for you would never pass you by type of energy, all right? So, what do we got? We said two. All right, so I know we got 36, I think it was, right? Yeah, 36 and 31. So let's go to 31 now. This is the lost sock. All right. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Definitely, uh, if you're here, welcome to the channel. Like, share, subscribe. All right. It says the imagined place reminds us to feed the and indulge our imagination. And that doing this so so may provide the answers we need in life as well. So, if you're curious about anything here, Taurus, just you know, follow that curiosity, right? Follow that. You gotta nourish that imagination, right? So again, the greatest things is created. Like everything that we experience, that we have available to us to experience, right? In this realm, it all stemmed from and came from someone's imagination. Um, at one point in time, it was a thought or a fantasy of somebody's or a dream potentially, right? Um, and that dream went on to paper and that paper became their reality. And the reality is now something that someone created that we can now embrace and enjoy. Um, from McDonald's all the way down to now electric cars, right? Um, so let's just use that imagination to tap, to tap into allowing ourselves to be very, very creative, all right? Um, so don't let anything stop you from being that creative person. Doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. You just think about kids, how innocent they are. And they just think and know that they're going to create like some of the grandest things ever. You'll hear them say that, um, if you listen. Um, so just be in that kid like energy and just know that you can create whatever you imagine. Right. Pretty much. All right. It says the lost sock. It says, where does, where do our lost possessions Hair ties, socks, etc. Go the lost sock, right? Remember, I told you it gave me the energy of lost and found. So I feel like maybe you guys were lost or distant from your creative energy here, but I feel like you're getting ready to find some kind of spark. So it's given Ace of Wands. All right, it says the lost sock reminds us that nothing is ever truly gone, but that things we are missing may have just been just found a new place or a new meaning for someone else. Um, again, and it says, I got the next one here is 37, which is the love bird. You didn't get that card, but it very well could stem to some relationships for some of my tourists here. So again, whatever is lost or, you know, whatever's left you, um, it's, it was destined. It was faded kind of energy. 939 is on a timer. So don't look at, don't, I just get like, don't be sad about it. Just embrace it. And, you know, just kind of like move forward. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what I'm getting here, guys. Um, and if it's meant to come back to you, it will, right? It will. All right, so let's see. 
Hopefully y'all can still hear me. My AirPod was dying. Again, this is the ink deck here. Tattoo ink, ink, ink intuition. So spirit is also wanting you guys to tap more into your intuitive side, your intuitive nature. These intuitive hunches that I feel like you guys are getting, but maybe you're not understanding it. Um, so I'm, I, I, I am getting that too for some of, some of my Tauruses here. So anyways, let's see. You could find a red sock around your home, okay? Or you could find something like within your children's possessions. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this ain't their coat. This ain't their sock, right? Also, you may just need to wear red as I see a red car passing by. Uh, because red is going to be vibrant, right? And it's passion. Red is like creative. So if you're having, and then look, the deck is red as well too. I, I love red. Red is my favorite color. And this is my first deck that's like red. So I'm super excited about it. I think that's another thing that drew me to the deck. Um, and also tattoos. I love tattoos. Like those that have seen my body. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tatted up. So yeah. I love tattoos. Matter of fact, I need to hit my guy. Yo, Pop, I need I need some tattoos, man. If you're seeing this, all right. I gotta hit him up, man. Cause I definitely do want some some new ink. Um, the last thing that he inked for me was um my twins. Um, they're on my chest. All right, and it's so so dope, like so dope. All right, let's see. Anyways, let's see. Y'all probably don't want to know about Leisha's ink, but okay. I love tattoos. If you like tattoos, drop it down below. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll throw up a post or a picture on the community of some of my tats. I love tattoos. I go, I try to go to tattoo festivals um, when they're around. Or like tattoo shows and things like that. Like I love tattoos. I love them. Anyway, some people are like, ah, oh, you, you shouldn't work up your body. And it's like, alright. That's your opinion. I'm honest. Um, uh, we got the nine of swords. I feel like something's getting you guys all up in your head. I'm not gonna take all these cards that came up, by the way. Yeah, the seven of swords and the nine of swords, like something has really, really got you in your head. Are y'all thinking about dece deceiving someone? Is what I want to say. Ace of coins, king of wands, or maybe y'all are stressing out here about your resources here. All right, take it how it resonates, but that's what I'm seeing and feeling here for you guys. Let's see, we got the Three of Cups just popping out for you guys. Actually, I, I, I may. Three of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Knave of Swords here. Mm -hmm. We got the Death and the Reverse here. So, again, if it was about a relationship, then I feel like it's going to come back to you guys or it will return to you guys. I feel like when the time is right. And maybe this person just wasn't right for you, which is, you know, okay, because, you know, things have to, you know, kind of go their own separate ways right so that way we can mature and grow and like i said what's meant for you will never pass you by if anything spirit will redirect you to a a new counterpart all right and we got the five of wands here so it could be it could be a lot of i'm getting like mental conflict here within you guys uh mental state here i feel like you guys are overthinking here um you know why something ended why things changed this could be you that roles could be reversed for sure so i'm not gonna take those though because they just kind of shot out real crazy but that's what i saw there so that's just one spread for that it could be a message for somebody let's see all right if you're losing your home oh i'm hearing i'm hearing that home is on fire here so be careful because this time of the year i don't know what it is but we do typically see maybe it's just me but i feel like i noticed that we have more fires in the winter season um home fires and things like that electrical problems so just be sure you, you get your wiring checked out around your home all right and just be careful about you know house fires and things like make sure you check your smoke detectors and everything make sure all that stuff is uh in good working condition change your batteries as well Oh, and your carbon monoxide. I'm seeing your carbon monoxide as well, too. Change all the batteries and all your devices, all right? You guys should actually do them, like, every six months. But I try to do mine, like, three months. I try to stay on top of it. Uh, but anyways, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, what do we got for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus for the month of December 2023. All right, so we got the Lost Sock here. We got somebody's going through some type of loss. I'm, I'm feeling like someone's depressed 
too. Um, depending on where you're at, because like I said, we are approaching winter season. We also have retrograde coming up as well too. So some of this energy could very well resurface for you guys. Uh, approaching retrograde, which I think starts next week. All right, but keep that in mind here. Um, also, just we could have people this. Christmas could be a reason for folks to reach out for you guys as well, too. So just keep that in mind. But what I was going to say also here is like when we approach the end of the year, we typically try to have people typically try to, I don't know, like kind of like make peace. That's kind of like what I'm trying to say here. So you could have someone that's using the holiday to reach out to, you know, try to create peace or so they say. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, look, strength card is coming out here, so it could be a Leo for you, some of you guys, don't necessarily have to, this is just, you guys just needing to be strong and steadfast through whatever you're going through, if you put up boundaries, keep those boundaries up, um, if you're gonna be, you know, making time to be diligent with your energy, uh, I feel like this is also a time for you guys to re resist, I don't want to say resist, I guess so, resist other connections as well too, and certain particular people um that's going to tamper with your energy is what i'm getting here yeah what i say judgment you want to be mindful of certain energies that are trying to resurface back into your life it, yeah six of coins it's like because are they coming back for a genuine reason or are they coming back for you know a beneficial reason you know what's under the surface so i feel like just be mindful about that if someone wants to come and make peace and apologize it's like yeah okay you know, you can either hear them out and, you know, I feel like we should forgive everybody, you know, all that wronged us, anything. Um, but if you have someone that's coming back that really betrayed you, I feel like, you know, just hear them out. Because you got to understand sometimes people are just in immature places in their life and they're not able to comprehend mentally and emotionally, you know, on a higher vibrational level playing field right 1717 which is 88 uh divine time in that play here man okay uh so that's what i have for you guys could be done with the sag could be done with the leo don't necessarily have to you could just have those pushed in your chart but i feel like um yeah the three of wands you guys are gonna have some type of unexpected resources coming in for you guys oh, what did i say nine of co cups here we have the three of wands and we have the six of coins see that envelope there so this is giving me like y'all going to christmas parties Y'all are getting Christmas bonuses. Uh, you could be being surprised with a bonus here because you may not even... Maybe you started with the company early in the year, right? And so nobody really talked about the Christmas party, right, at the end of the year. Nobody really said anything about it, but you go. You know what I'm saying? Your job is letting you know. You probably see the posting here with the Naval Swords here. A posting on the wall somewhere around your job letting you know, like, hey, you know, got a Christmas party coming up next week, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you guys could be actually getting bonuses here, right? Three of wands, six of cups, six of coins, excuse me, ooh, six of cups. Um, y'all gotta have unexpected money coming in if people owed you money. Um, this could be them paying you back, judgment and the strength, but I don't really know. For some of you guys, you could have folks paying y'all back, but I do feel like this is the universe paying you back. So maybe you guys have done, you know, cause like, you know, Thanksgiving until the end of the year is more so about a time of giving, about a time of receiving, um, things of that nature, right? Donations, toy drives, uh, you know, maybe, you know, giving out meals to, you know, your local shelters around your community. It's things of that nature. Um, also, this is resources with other people's money as well, too. So, take it how it resonate. You guys could be getting, like, a grant or, I don't know, I'm just seeing, like, you guys, I feel like this is from the times that you got, I said Six of Cups, right? Six of Cups is not here. So, I feel like there's been so many things that you got, good deeds is what I'm getting, good deeds. All right, so you guys have done good deeds in the past, and I feel like that energy really wasn't always reciprocated to you guys, so I feel like now Spirit is going to be either bringing in resources for you guys, or you're going to just be getting, like I said, spiritual help you know so that's that's what i see here for you guys really beautiful oh 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 let's see knight of swords 
Um, be private too if you guys win something or you get bonus money. Just kind of keep that to yourselves here. We got the Fool, the Ace of Wands, and the Empress here. Now, I picked them up in the reverse. Did somebody leave somebody pregnant or did somebody go somebody when somebody found out that they got somebody pregnant here? I don't know. Taurus, Libra energy here. We got Aries energy here with the Fool. And then we got the Ace of Wands and more fire energy. Two, two, two's on the timer. Um, if that's the case, then this is, like I said, good deeds coming back to you guys. Good karma coming back to you guys. And people are, like, trying to figure out, like, damn, how the fuck did she get that car when I didn't help that bitch? How the fuck did, you know, he get that house when I shit it on his ass? How the fuck did he get his kids picked up when I told him I wasn't? Or, you know what I'm saying? It's like someone's, like, can't believe, like, oh, I, I left them out dry turkey, you know what I'm saying? And this person is prevailing anyway. How is that? It's like, because they did good deeds, bitch. Like, you know, what goes around comes around. So whatever energy you put out, just be, be prepared for that energy to come back. Yeah, ten of wands here. Yeah, this is for all the tough times that you guys went through, dealt with burdens, chaos, the energy here, right? All the losses y'all took here with the five of coins too. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, no, spirit's like, okay, we're gonna redirect you here towards your ten of pentacles here. We're gonna take you to the nine of cups here, so that way you guys don't have to deal with that. Yeah, two of wands flipped back over when I started shuffling here. Um, so. Yeah, and 10 resets to a 1, right? And you got 2 of wands to show up again, which is what? 3 of wands, essentially, right? So 3 and 3 is what? 6 of wands, a celebrational energy here. Look, here's that 